Hello, YouTube friends. It's me, Theosha Talks. Today, we are going to make some sushi the way that I am making sushi. I did not go to Japan. I did not study as an apprentice to learn how to make rice for three years. I don't technically know what I'm doing. I have this handy dandy, amazing little situation. It is a sushi maker. Can you see that? I am so excited about this. It is really kind of like the way to make it in the um, most simple way possible. So I'll show you the apparatus. It's plastic, has clamps on it, little feet to sit it on. And then when you unclamp these, well, it might help if I took the top thing off. It opens up to this and it just, you put your rice and stuff in there and you push it through. I'm on so many different Facebook groups um, that I have joined since quarantine. And on one of them, it is for, uh, called Women Who Thrive. Um, someone had like extras of these and they were like, if you pay for shipping, we can send it to you. I cashed up her that money for this and we're done, we're done. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna start off with some shrimp. Um, this is tempura shrimp that I've already put in the oven and it's ready to go. What I'm going to do is cut off the tails though. Get my little knife out and cut the tails off because we don't wanna be bothered with that in our sushi. This is my rice. It is regularly made rice and then I put some rice wine vinegar in it and I let it sit for a couple of days in the refrigerator. So hopefully it's nice and sticky like rice is supposed to be. For sushi, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this. I have nori. These are like little tiny nori sheets. They're actually nori snack, uh, like snacks. So they're really thin, paper thin little pieces of like nori, which is seaweed. This is some parchment paper. Put that down to give us a nice little working surface. Oh, this is a beauty. Come through avocado, we see you. Get this out here, connect that with that. Everything, uh, bagel seasoning that I got from Aldi. And we're just gonna put that in the bottom because I want my stuff to have seeds on it. I don't know. I've never made this before. I probably should have read the instructions. Um, you know, when it's something that's not necessarily like mechanical or electrical to plug in, sometimes I don't read the instructions, y'all. And call me whatever you want to call me. <laughs> Love me where I'm at, y'all. Love me where I'm at. So I'm gonna assume this is this rice is sticky. I don't think it's as sticky as it could be because it doesn't seem to be sticking. Let's pat this down, get us a nice little hollow, hollowed out area there that we're gonna put the, the stuff in there. Now I'm the only one eating this, so trying to get it perfect is not necessarily something that I'm caring about. Oh wow, this is big. Let's just put that in there on one side. There. And then we're gonna put a line of carrots there. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and put the avocado slices in there. Lots of avocado, because of course, like I said, I did not read the instructions, so good luck. Good luck to me on that. Let's turn it off. <laughs> we're gonna clamp it shut. There we go. Oh, I've done something terribly wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Let me unlatch this one. Uh-oh. I don't want to break this. Oh, my God. I just... And this is why you read instructions, kids. Don't listen to Titi Titi. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's winging it, kids. Winging it. Actually, that doesn't look bad on the inside there. Let's put some more rice on that side. <laughs> now it might have too much rice in it, but that's, you know, that's okay. We're experimenting. This is fun, right? It's super fun. So much fun. All right. Okay. Let's turn that over or something. Now we're gonna get our nori sheets. Well, nori snack, whatever you wanna call it. And let's put them like this. Maybe like this. And then I'm gonna put them in here like they're touching. Um, because nori sheets are usually pretty big and I want them to touch because I want this to all be one piece, you know? And then we're going to extrude this oh no oh it's falling apart so apparently my rice isn't sticky enough but that's okay that's okay i'm not going to be discouraged just push it slowly like i'm doing there all right we've got to the end of the roll there and we're going to take our plastic wrap and smush it a little bit and we're gonna roll it. Eek, this is so scary. Okay, keep rolling it. Pick up the end of the paper because you don't want plastic in your sushi. <laughs> so tuck it like that with your fingers. Bring the plastic up a little bit. I don't have enough to fill up this back part and that's okay. It's better to have more than enough than not enough because I was really afraid that I wasn't gonna have enough. If I were to be 100% honest. Okay, okay, we're gonna rock that and do that. And um, yeah, a bit of a mess. Oh my word, a bit of a mess. <laughs> ah! It's falling apart, guys. Oh my God, it's falling apart. It probably would have worked better if I had actual nori sheets, but I don't have any of those. Oh dear word. Oh my God. Um, see if I can add yet another piece to this and see if we can get a good seal going because the problem is that we don't have adequate coverage of the nori around the contents, maybe. Oh my God, it is just falling apart. Okay, well, that's fine. And that was an epic fail. Let's eat some of it anyway. It's good.
I, I have this that I've ruined. And I'm like, well, it can't get any worse. So might as well see if we can fix it, right? Right? So much rice is everywhere. Rice, rice, rice. Rice, rice, rice. Bon appétit.